Hi, first graders. Welcome to lesson 10. Today, we're working on camouflage. I know that's always a really fun topic for all of you. You should have this video pulled up along with this worksheet on the side. At the top, it says camouflage. If you remember, camouflage helps animals hide from predators or sneak up on their prey. So our job today is to unscramble these letters to spell the camouflaged animal's name. So animal number one with the letters W, L, and O, remember those are out of order, you're gonna try to unscramble them and write the animal's name on the line. Now your clue is this photo. Can you see a camouflaged animal in this photo? If you can, fantastic. Use these letters to spell that animal's name right here. Feel free to pause the video to look a little bit harder. Our next animal, animal number two, the letters inside of it are H, M, O, and T. You'll try to unscramble them and write it on the line. Can you see a camouflage animal anywhere in this photo? I think this is, the animal is on the bark of a tree. If you can see it and you know what it's called, use these four letters to spell that animal's name correctly. Good luck. If you figured it out, go ahead and continue the video for the next creature, creature number three. Ooh. This one is tough. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time to look. This creature is on another lumpier bark of a tree. Look around. I'll give you a clue, it's towards the bottom, kind of in the middle. If you found this camouflage creature, use these letters next to number three to spell that, that animal's name. I almost gave you the answer. If you found it and you're ri you've written it down, go ahead and go to the next animal, animal number four. Ooh, interesting. I see lots of leaves in this picture. What camouflage creature can you find? Feel free to pause the video. Your clue is this creature's name usually begins with praying. If you found it and unscrambled these letters to write it on the line, then we can go to animal number five. Whoa, there's lots of green in this photo. I see lots of plants. Can you see the camouflage creature? If not, pause and look some more. If you found it, use these letters next to number five to spell that creature's name exactly on the line. And the last camouflage creature, number six. Whoa. Interesting. I think this creature is on some sort of sand. Hmm. Feel free to pause and look around in this photo if you need to. Once you've figured it out, use these letters to unscramble this creature's name and write it on the line. If you need more time, you can go back to the beginning of this video. But if you've finished, we can go to the bottom of this worksheet. It says, camouflage this frog as best you can. So the frog is already there. Your job is to draw the setting that the frog is camouflaged in. So if you're deciding to make a green frog, the setting that your frog is in or its habitat should probably also be some sort of green. If your frog is a brown frog, think of a habitat that would have mostly brown colors in it. Maybe the bark of a tree, maybe a muddy place. Take a look at this, this um, creature over here that's hidden. 
It was mostly the color white with some brown and black speckles, and its habitat is also mostly white with brown and black speckles. Make sure you use lots of detail when you're camouflaging your frog in whatever habitat that you choose. Good luck, I can't wait to see your work.